Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Fresh and welcome to the Dream Team. So today we're having a very, very, very great topic. Please subscribe and stay tuned on, tuned in, whatever, so that you can never miss out any video that we post twice a week. So turn on the notification bell that you'll never miss out any video. So before I continue, I know you will, you've already started fighting me and started judging me and started saying everything. I just want to be clear to you that I'm not dating any my Nigerian man or I'm not dating any Nigerian man. I just had to go to the, some ladies who are dating Nigerian men and ask them, what do you guys really find in these men that you never find in your country, guys? Like, if it's a Kenyan lady, she's dating a Nigerian man. Why a Nigerian man? And there are very many uh, Kenyan guys here. I don't know. So I just had to go through them. Ugandan ladies, Kenyan ladies, and also Philippine ladies. There are very many ladies that go with Nigerian men. So my question was, why do you guys want... Why do you guys... Why do you ladies really want to go out with these guys? And I was being given very, very, very interesting answers, which I know some of you will start fighting me on the comment section that it's a lie, that it's so exaggerated. I don't know. So, uh... They say that the reason number one that the Nigerian men are the best is that these Nigerian men are good looking. And seriously, if you can just check, you can just realize that these guys, they are cute. Most of them are very cute. I'm not trying to say that the others are not cute. No, don't get me wrong. But these were the answers that I was being given by those people who are involved in that. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's okay, just follow your heart. So they are very cute. And something else is that these people, they are really promising. Hmm. My sister, these people can promise you everything. They can promise you everything. They will tell you, hey, baby, I will do this for you. Hey, babe, I will do this for you. And they will surely do because they are never stingy. That is reason number three. These guys are never stingy. They are very they can give you anything that you want. They will give you promises, sweet promises that you will also believe that, God, this is the only guy that I've been looking for. I don't know where these guys have been. So they are very promising and they are very, they are not never stingy. That is what I'm trying to say. That is reason number three. Reason number four is that these people know how to dress. I know you know this, that these people dress to kill okay before we even continue i'm not trying like to compare them with other people no i'm just saying why these people are just so attractive to ladies they are so attractive to foreign ladies than their own country ladies so they know how to dress these people can spend all the money just to get a good dress a good head to toe presentation these people really know how to dress something else is that this guy he can tell you Oh, babe, you want to go somewhere? I will drop you. I will pick you up. This drives the uh, drives too that these people drives very, very good cars. I'll not say big cars. It might be big, it might be small, but it's a really good car. These people do have good cars. I don't want you to start fighting me in the comment section, but I'm really saying what it is. Something else is that these people have good jobs. Uh, wait a minute. I was saying about the cars. These people will tell you, I will drop you, I will pick you. He will leave what he was doing just to drop and pick you up. But some other guys, I'll not say who, some other guys are very confident taking you Taking you out, okay, you'll go out together and then after you're done, he will take you to the bus station and tell you, hey babe, bye bye, just take care and blah, 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 blah. He can't even pay an Uber for you. He will only tell you, go out with that, with that, with the bus. Seriously, this, this uh, Nigerian men, they are really, really loving. They say that. That is another point. That they love you. They care for you. They are very, very caring. It's another reason that they were giving than other guys. Like, other guys are very stingy. They are very selfish. But Nigerian men can give you everything that they owe. They can spoil you however you want to be spoiled. This is something else about these guys. Nigerian men can spoil a lady. They can take you 
to wherever you want to do. They can buy you gifts. They can buy you golds. They can buy you everything. They know how to spoil a lady. So if you are seated there and you just relax, you don't even do anything to your girl and you just think that her, huh, she's going out with a Nigerian lady, with a Nigerian guy. Why wouldn't she? You're just sitting there deciding that I'll not spend anything for her, that I cannot waste money for a lady. I don't know what, I don't know what. That is your own problems now. These ladies need needs people to be to be spoiling them that is why they are there god created them to be spoiled yes are we together in this so that is something else that this nigerian man does something else that these people can do a nigerian guy can die for you he can really do that a nigerian man a nigerian guy if he loves you if he loves a lady, there's nothing he can't do to this lady. There's nothing he can't do for this lady. He can die for you. He will sacrifice everything just for you. Something else is that the, uh, about the presentation and the dressing, these people know how to use strong and expensive perfumes. I know if you are out there and you're watching me and you can relate to this, can you just comment down there? Because this is really it. And this is why Nigerian men will always be there. The first priorities of other foreign ladies. Because some uh, so the, the guys from our countries, I mean our countries like us, the foreigners, we will not do this for us. They will think that they are doing too much for us while a Nigerian guy is out there just thinking that this is just something small. Something else is that this guy, he will give you, he will give you stories and make you believe that he is the only one. But other, our guys, <laughs> I'll not mention any country here, but our guys want you to like give them the love they don't want to give the love back but a nigerian guy he just loves you without expecting anything until your heart is the only is the it's itself it's taking you there it's taking you to his heart and being close to each other so i was not i was not provoking anybody i was not like siding with anybody any side no but this has come to my attention that hey these guys they are everywhere and everywhere you're just hearing a nigerian guy <clears throat> another country lady a nigerian guy another country lady so this one you need to check out that if you're seated back there you are not a nigerian and you think that all that you're saying is not true Hey, please ladies need to be treated ladies need to be spoiled they need to be loved they need to be taken with an uber if you don't have a personal car but not driving them and pushing them to the bus station this is not allowed so uh, the topic was that crazy it those all those points mind you all those points I got from ladies who date these people and it's not a one nationality lady they were two three different nationalities dating nigerian guys different foreigners dating nigerian guys so if you're there and you know you don't do all that and you're expecting a girl to come from heaven no even god said that a girl a lady a woman should be made happy should be made your first priority okay so that is it that is the end of the video today now i'm sitting back here waiting for people to give me all the comments and all the fights they feel they can fight me i know you feel like you can fight me you can fight me today 